Welcome to Sports Circle 345. This is the place where we discuss track and field in its entirety. I want to discuss something today. I want to discuss the Jamaican team that is going off to Budapest. Or I think they, they should be there at Budapest already. What I want to do is a different video today. This video is for prayer, is for praying for the Jamaican team. But I want to pray specifically for three persons on that team. Sharika Jackson, Shelly and Fraser Price, and Elaine Thompson. This is going to be the backbone of the Jamaican team. I think the Jamaican team morale is going to thrive off those three. So it is important and it is imperative that those three perform. No, I am a spiritual man. I'm a Christian. By now, you would have recognized. All right? This is why I don't believe in tearing down athletes. I believe in speaking the truth, but not to tear people down. I believe in, to, in forgiveness. I believe in fair play. I want to pray for them today. All right? You might not see another sports video like this, but this is how I do it. Sports Circle 345. I believe in prayer and that it works dear God you can pray with me if you want or you can just click off the video if you don't want to hear dear God I thank you today for your goodness and your grace and your mercies I put the Jamaican team before you today Lord God every man every woman that is going to be performing they are going to be performing for their country Jamaica land we love I pray God that fear play and I pray God that all the athletes will be free of injury Lord God I pray that they will perform to the best of their ability also Lord Jesus I want to pray specifically for Sharika Jackson for Shelly and Fraser Price and for Elaine Thompson Sharika Jackson she's a young woman she has come far Lord God 21 45 and 10 65 seconds I've been watching her from she was running in high school in Carifta and she have come up through the ranks and I'm proud of her I'm proud of the achievements that she have done so far Shelly and Fraser Price have carried the mantle for years Lord God she has been a stalwart Lord God you said um, by their fruit you shall know them Oh God, there is a spiritual sense of that and there is a physical sense of that. She has put in the work, Lord God. And she is now one of the best, if not the best female athlete the world has ever seen. I pray God. She had a knee injury, oh God, a few weeks ago. I pray God that you touch that knee. I pray God that you heal that knee in the name of Jesus. And I pray that you give victory to her if it is for her to win. I pray for Elaine Thompson. She's going through turmoil. She has gone through a rough time. Lord God, a lot of pointing fingers um, went on. Oh God, she herself did some things that, oh God, that helped Lord Jesus in her, Lord God, where she's at. But I pray God not to look at what she has done or what anybody has said, but to look beyond the fault and see her need. And today, Lord Jesus, I pray that you'll help her, God, to come back on top. I pray, God, that you give her strength and peace. Give her a mental focus, Lord God. I pray for the 4 by one team. I pray for the 4 by 4 team. I pray for the 100 meters person, both males and females. I pray for the 200, both males and females. The 400, oh God, the 800, the 1500. All the ways I pray, I put them in your hands and Jamaica land we love. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And I'm just, I just want to say that I wish the Jamaican team well and that every man, every woman who is going to be performing will perform to the best of their ability and that God will grant them success in abundance. Blessings in Jesus' name. Thank you for viewing Sports Circle 345. Amen.